Hey guys, a new episode of 3 minutes of badminton. Today we want to have a closer look at the footwork technique to the round the head corner in the rear court. So when your opponent wants to play you on your backhand, how you can get there and still hit a forehand shot, hit with power. And there is a certain footwork pattern that is used by all the good players here. And you should also try to work on that if you want to get more dangerous and faster here to your corner. So the first important thing, the first important aspect is turning your body very quickly. So the best starting position if I want to go explosive to my round the head corner is with the right foot in front. You can see that here in the video now when I push with the right foot then I get quickly to the um, round the head corner in the back. And now the special thing here is usually if you just turn and then do a scissor jump or do a shot then you're not in the corner already because there's a lot more distance to cover if your opponent hits the shuttle all the way to the back so to cover that extra distance it is very common that you use a so-called hop step so you for me as a right-handed player i make a, a jump on my left foot i jump with the left and land on the left and with that jump i also cover um, a certain distance if you're really strong you can cover like up to one meter maybe um, but already a few centimeters will help you to get maybe just with turning into the perfect position for doing a scissor jump and hitting with full power in the rear corner. So let's have a look in slow motion at the full and movement to the round the head corner. So I push with the right foot, then I have that jump on the left foot and now I'm in the perfect position for hitting with power using a scissor jump here in the round the head corner. In my tactical tutorial for single players, I already mentioned that most players are more dangerous in the round the head corner when they have time compared to the forehand corner because when they use this technique they can use their full body, they can do a scissor jump and that will, um, if, if they for example play a smash, will that make that smash a lot harder. On the forehand side they have to use a china jump. Um, so here this is a really dangerous corner if the opponent or if you are good at turning quickly and getting into the position where you can use your full body. So I can just recommend you to um, work on that technique and try to get this pattern of jumping and turning with that hop step and then doing a scissor jump. So much for that. Um, we call it Malay technique. I don't know if there's an international word or how you guys call that um, running technique with the hop step and the scissor jump in the round the head corner. But um, I would love to hear that. So let me know it in the comments. That would be really interesting for me. And I already talked about the tactical tutorial. You will find that here. So um, why is it so um, important that you're good here, that you're more dangerous in the round the head corner? Um, another interesting thing could also maybe just the scissor jump tutorial where I go in detail on how to do this jumping and turning for the shot. So I hope I see you in the next video. So much for that. Bye bye.